On today's show, Siri dislikes glass, the Moto X Developer Edition, no more Xbox points, cross-party chat for Sony devices, and the Samsung Developer Conference. It's Buffalo Bulletin time! Hello fellow Earthlings and welcome to the Buffalo Bulletin where we recap five major stories from our site technobuffalo.com every Tuesday and Friday. If you're interested in reading more about any story on the show, check the description for the links or click on the graphics for each story if you have annotations available. I'm Ashley Esqueda, here are your top stories. Apple making headlines again after various news outlets discovered iOS 7's Siri update doesn't care too much for Google Glass. Telling Siri OK Glass elicits a variety of pithy responses from Apple's head robot in charge, ranging from I think glass is half empty to stop trying to strap me to your forehead, it doesn't work. Obviously, Apple doesn't think too highly of Google's newest wearable technology. In a semi-related story saying OK Google now to Siri results in her screaming in fear and cowering in the bottom left corner of your iPhone. That's how good Google now is. Motorola also in the news recently as a web portal popped up touting the promised Moto X Developers Edition. It's good to see Motorola keeping their promise regarding a dev device, and this version of the Moto X will have 32 gigs of storage, an unlockable bootloader, and a special look that includes matte black on the front and a custom Developer Edition battery cover. No word yet on pricing or availability, but at the very least, we're pretty happy to see releases of Developer Edition phones this year thus far from multiple OEMs, and we're hoping it will be similarly priced to those other dev editions. In gaming, Microsoft killed off the point system for buying things on your Xbox 360, offering a software update for the console that changes points currency to cold, hard dollars and cents. Lots of gamers have been waiting for this update, and it's pretty easy to walk through the process and start shelling out your local currency for virtual goodies. I'm sure you're wondering what this means for your existing points, and it's pretty shocking. Microsoft's going to be taking them, cashing them out, and paying for a lavish retirement party for Steve Ballmer. A shrimp cocktail's not going to pay for itself, guys. Sony continues to rack up bonus points with gamers after we learned this week the PS4 and PlayStation Vita would support cross-platform party chat, meaning you can invite a friend playing Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on Vita to your party chat and then talk to them while you're hacking it up and watch dogs on your PS4. It's a pretty nifty little feature and one we're sure current Vita owners will appreciate as they're pretty sparse in number and have been awfully lonely waiting for more friends to interact with. Our grab bag story today comes from Samsung as they announce their official developer conference. The event will take place October 27th through October 29th in San Francisco and it'll introduce new development kits for mobile, smart TVs, and other hardware. Now, if that sounds like something you've been dying to take part in, you can register now for $299. And we do recommend registering early, considering how popular other developer conferences have been this year. That's it for the Buffalo Bulletin for today. If you enjoyed the show, a thumbs up would be super awesome of you. And if you want more great Techno Buffalo video content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this giant subscribe button. And remember everyone, you can't trust somebody who whistles, especially not Ralph. Have you seen this guy at the office? <laughs>